Hey guys, Anthony here with a second knife review that my friend Michael from Australia had sent in. You guys have saw already the, have seen already the um, Karambit style neck knife. Uh, this is the package, the unboxing that everything came in. Again, he sent me uh, this Smith and Wesson and also the uh, M Tech MT model 666 Karambit style knife. Uh, this one here is a Smith and Wesson uh, model. Um, 990. It's actually, I believe, made by a company called Taylor Brands uh, that um, borrows, the, uh, borrows the name or licenses the name from Smith & Wesson. These are made in China. Uh, this knife is um, 440C stainless steel. I'll try to give you some views of it while I'm talking about it. And there's the Smith & Wesson logo. 440C stainless steel. Blade length is 3 inches. Overall length of the knife is 7 inches. Again, it's skeletonized, as you can see. There are a few videos on YouTube on this knife. In fact, uh, Cutlery Lover did one uh, on it also. Um, drop point blade. Seems to be very sharp. Uh, and again, I'm not going to use this as a bushcraft knife, so it's not going to be getting everyday cutting use. These are to me, self-defense knives and will be carried in that capacity. Um, Zytel handles, again, there you can see, you get a better angle there. Zytel handles, full tang. Again, when you're holding the knife, your finger choil in the front, and then you have your pinky right behind here, and then also you have some choiling or jimping, whatever they call it at the top here to hold it uh, and again my hands not small but it's not huge but this knife feels pretty good in my hand and would make a good uh, defensive uh, tool for me um, the nice thing about this knife uh, the sheath and the knife come together very nice and it locks in really nice it's not going to go anywhere makes a little rattling noise very little but again very stable in the sheath. Break it apart. There you go. Back together, clicks right in. The nice thing about this sheath I like, it has multiple uses. Obviously is the whistle built in. Uh, the whistle is right there in the sheath. Again, you could put your um, chain in there or paracord, whatever you want to hang it on your neck with. And again, the whistle does work and would make a great signaling device to have to scare somebody away or to call for help. Um, again, good retention, let's weigh it and um, see how much it weighs. Turn our scale on. With the sheath we have two and a quarter ounces, so very light, maybe a little bit too long uh, for someone to carry as a neck knife, uh, depending on what you're wearing, of course, but definitely not too heavy. Again, there are some more views of it in the sheath. I like it. Um, again, Michael, thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for sending these knives out to me. I will put them to good use. They will be worn and carried. And uh, again, I thank you for this uh, Smith & Wesson uh, S uh, Model 990. Um, again, strictly for, I, I believe, I mean, although you could use it in the field, but a great bug out bag knife, a great knife to throw around your neck, give to a family member uh, to use, also as a defensive weapon and a signaling device. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments on this. Uh, there are a few YouTube videos. I'll try to link them in the vid, in this video. And um, let me know what you think. Stay ready. Anthony, signing off.